Propagate across sheets allows the creation of one or more worksheets based on the current worksheet, with members of one hierarchy swap for other selections. Let's add a simple grid that shows the reseller sales amount for all products between January 2015 and June 2015, broken down by geography. One problem with this grid is that I only have the total reseller sales for all products. I could move the categories hierarchy down onto the grid, however there is an alternative method if we wish to keep the same grid structure. So, we right click on all products and select the propagate across sheets option in the Excel cube menu. We are then presented with the propagate across sheets dialog window, so we need to choose our hierarchy, which in this case is product categories, but as I right clicked on that hierarchy, it's pre-populated. We want to see the descendants of all products at the category level. And we have a couple of options at the bottom of the dialog, of which a brief description is now on screen. So, let's click OK. You can see at the bottom, we now have our new tabs, one for each category. And if we look at each one, we can see that the grid structure is the same, but the product category is different. All propagated sheets function as a new independent grid, so we can still drill into our data. In accessories, we can drill down into Canada through the provincial level to the city level. We could also go to clothing and move the product category hierarchy down from the filter area into the grid and then drill into subcategory. We can also still create grid calculations, so I'll add a column calculation that shows the growth from May 2015 to June 2015 for clothing. Propagate can be very useful for quickly exploding a report out across different parts of the business. We often see this used to replicate a report by product line, by sales region or by store, or by legal entity.